vigilant, we must never be tired. We must give one more push. For those of you who have identified with the essence of the vision that brought me into office, you will know that there are several discouraging factors. But the dream is bigger. And we must tell ourselves that in our lifetime, this country must be better. When we talk of the labor of our heroes past not being in vain, we should never forget that we are the heroes present. Those who fought for the emancipation of our nation from the claws of colonialism were not older than us. Those who began to scope the pathway for our country were not older than us. And all over the world, there is a rhythm of the hands of the clock seeing young people rise to the front lines in leadership. Of course, we are grateful that the not too young to run to pass a road bill has been passed into law. But beyond running, beyond seeking electoral offices, we must know that beginning from where we are, we have rules to play. We must never give up. In consonance with the Spartan creed, here is courage, mankind's finest possession. If we try, we may win and we may lose. But if we do not try, we will certainly lose. Look around you to all the nations of the earth. A well educated, good, and varied professional in the fields. And you look them standing out, nothing to do. Most of them fall out to become cyber criminals. Joining varied criminal elements. But the thing that we are not doing right to that regard, like I've said earlier, the institutions of government need to be on the head of institutions of government. Because one of the greatest challenges of Nigeria is the system has not been able to operate as independent entities for leaders, political leaders. And as long as institutions of government are not operate independently, properly, with patriotism, independent of the leaders of the country, then we have problems. I've said it time and time again. The political leaders of Nigeria the system looks at their body language and takes a cue. And if things are done right at those quarters, the system will fall. So what we need to do right is for those in the government and those in charge of institutions of government to be selfless, to be patriotic, to love their country more than themselves, to look at every individual Nigerian as a Nigerian. It was diverse emotion, it was diverse sentiment, and negative you know, tendencies in our thoughts to take decisions based on what we feel is right and what is right, not what we want. These are the things that we are not doing right. Most of our decisions are tailored towards our emotions and our sentiments, not because they are the right thing to do. So, the decision makers, the heads of governments, heads of agencies of governments should be better. If that is done, all the monies that are put into the system, believe me, will not get 